Assalamu alaikum everybody. A uh, few topics to talk about today, inshallah. So, Festivus, for the rest of us, um, it's, it's basically this thing. I think at first, I don't know, but it was mentioned in Seinfeld, apparently. There's this episode, which I still have to see on YouTube, inshallah. Uh, they don't have a Christmas tree, they have a pole, and they place presents there and stuff like that. You know, you have uh, Christmas and Hanukkah, and this year, Eid al-Adha of the Muslims came on a close day. You have Kwanzaa. You have these different holidays, but nothing just to kind of unite everybody together. And so we were talking about uh, doing some sort of a secret Santa thing, which I refused to do because I, I didn't want to participate in a, a Christmas activity like that, you know? Um, I felt as a Muslim, and this is just based on my own personal views, to... Um, I felt like... I don't know, even though it's a commercial holiday, and I, I totally know that, and uh, lots of Americans do celebrate it who are not even Christian, uh, don't even go to church, have no relation to the Bible, but I, I just, uh, you know, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. So, it's a festivist thing, and it's a present exchange instead of called a, being called the Secret Santa, and, uh, you know, I really appreciate the, uh, how open-minded my, uh, and, and compromising my fellow, like, uh, flagship mates or, or or mates yeah that's funny because you know flagship ship uh we're about that okay you probably don't think that's funny that's okay <laughs> so we have three days the first day was halwiyat and we have to like leave little clues so i bought the person i had this one girl you know you just pick a name out of a hat and it's a random person you give them three gifts so i got her these uh arab halwiyat you know i uh Asked Egyptians and stuff, I found like best plays, best deal, and really good stuff. And then I left a clue, which was uh, a ticket from Alex, from Cairo to Alex, Alex. And so I thought, you know, I was trying to confuse her because there's this one kid who always goes to Cairo every single week because yeah, he's a Mormon, he has to ch attend the church service there uh, in Cairo. Uh, second gift was something Masri Khalis, which means very, very Egyptian. I searched for like two hours in uh, Manchia and finally found, with the help of uh, one of my friends, uh, you know, may may God reward him. These it's 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 this type of uh, teacup, and and they use it for coffee as well. It's basically how do I say it? It's, it? It kind of comes out and then comes in and then comes out again. It's glass and it usually has like gold or some sort of designs on it. We searched for so long. We went from store to store, store to store, because it's not it's not big right now. Because after I ate, a lot of people bought those. Finally found them, and then I said, though it's not my cup of tea, I hope you'll accept this gift from me. And so you know, I meant it's not my cup of tea; it's hers. And also, I don't drink from those cups usually. I, I just uh, it's for me. It's not the looks that matter. And so my Mormon friend, he doesn't drink uh, that type of tea either. It's against his religion. So I was trying to confuse her. And the last thing was, uh, I, I texted everybody and I said, what's your favorite color? I really just wanted to know this person's uh, favorite color so I could buy them. And then the last gift, uh, I couldn't find like a book, you know, she likes to write short stories. I wanted a very nice little book that's just blank inside and just had lines. So and whenever she wants to write something, it was turquoise. But there are only planners. Actually, a lot of people, even in class, don't use notebooks. They use planners. And so it has dates, which they just totally disregard. It's just for paper. So... But finally, and, and uh, hopefully she liked them all, seemed, seemed that way. But it was just really fun. I got American candy my first day, which I love. Uh, the second day, I received a book. It's around here somewhere with my other books. I love books. I'm crazy about books. So I was very happy about that. It was uh, Muhammad Idris' book, Al-Jins Al-Thalit, which is a, it's a play. It's a short play. A very well-known play here in Egypt. And then the last day, I got some more books. I got like three books. I got Obama's... Uh, the book about him talking about dreams about his, from his father. I don't know the title in English because it's all translated into Arabic. So, uh, just off my memory, it's around here somewhere as well. With uh, a Tawfiq al Hakim book. Tawfiq al Hakim is amazing. He's amazing. He's an Egyptian author and he's a Najib Mahfouz. If you heard of him, Najib Mahfouz is a very famous author. He's his like professor and teacher. So, I was very happy. I really enjoyed the whole idea and I thought it was great. Um, another thing, last time I talked about. Um, Egypt and just getting used to Egypt safety I wanted to just mention this really quick in this post it's a lot safer here in general uh, from I, I don't know if I spoke about this before if I did sorry for the repeat but you know it really hit me when I was with one of my American friends in Tanta and he was like I actually feel safe here 
it's not like where his city is from. Or, and if I go into the downtown and you're just walking by yourself or you look confused, you might get mugged. You might get, you know, someone might stick a knife to your chest or, or, or pull out a, a gun or something like that. But here, it's, it's not like that. I mean, you do have pickpocketers. And everybody warned me about Egypt and their crooks and don't trust anybody. I guess that's just good general advice when you're traveling. But I've never seen anybody get pickpocketed. And there was only one incident where this one girl in my, uh, in my class, she uh, had her, her, her purse stolen at, in the theaters. Uh, another interesting thing, and I, I'm sorry if I mentioned this again, sorry. Uh, I had a relationship post and it kind of relates to relationship and uh, Emin or, or security. So there, there's actually a special police like Shortat uh, al-Adab or something like that where uh, the, uh, the police of manners uh, and proper like relations between other human beings and they, if they see like females and males doing things that are inappropriate in public like really making out or something like that then they will uh, take them and arrest them. And I heard, uh, my t professor said, I asked him about it in class, he said it could be as much as three years. I mean, that's a lot. So it's just, you know, it's a different culture. And uh, there are some apartments where only females are allowed or only males are allowed. Um, there are schools like that as well. It's a lot more here. Um, in the tram, I think I mentioned this, the first car is just for females and then the rest are for males. And I guess leftover females or something because I see a few every now and then. Um, and yeah, if, if, if they're like because premarital sex is against the law here, from my understanding. And so if, if some guy goes to his apartment and another girl tries to go up as well, then they can call the police, neighbors can call the police, and he can get, I mean, he can get a big punishment. And there are stories, and, and I heard this is the same, this does occur in the Gulf states as well, that uh, some, so you have the, the, the dorm complex that's just for females, and I've entered it, Three times I'm actually going right now as well because I have to pay my dues at the end of the, you know, semester and the the head lady is over there, and so you know the security guy looks at you. Why are you here? He's like, I need some ID. So I just played it off cool, and you know acted all foreign. And he was like, Oh yeah, go ahead. And um, I guess I, I think the girls were looking at me weird. I don't remember, but some men enter there with a niqab, which is you know covering everything but your eyes. So they don't know. So that has caused some people to say, you know what, when you come in, the security should make you remove and show your face to other females so that it's still permissible in terms of their understanding of Islam. So interesting stuff. Talk about safety. And yeah, Egypt. Cool. Assalamu alaikum.